Where I live, the bug population by midsummer in the lawn can feel overwhelming. If you can relate to this problem, today let's talk about what we can do to prevent it before it's too late. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome back to Mike's Home and Garden. If you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. But if this is your first time here and you want to learn about lawn care, boost your curb appeal, and do other home improvement projects, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out. By putting in some preventative measures in your lawn early in the season, it's going to ensure that by mid to late summer, the bug population does not get out of control. Today, I want to talk about some of the things that I've done in my lawn that have worked very well through the years. So I'm going to review what products I like to use, how to correctly apply them, and then stick around to the end and we're going to talk about some best practices to do around your lawn to ensure it stays bug free all season long. Now last year, the army worms wreaked destruction over much of the country. Many lawns were destroyed because of them. So taking preventative measures like this today will ensure army worms and bugs like grubs and other insects that can destroy the lawn do not feel welcomed in your yard. And as always with all my videos, I drop some timestamps down in the description. Feel free to move around to the information that you need, but I do encourage you to stay all the way to the end so you don't miss out on anything. Now, for what product to use, there's a number of different options to choose from. When you go to the bug control section of your local hardware store, you'll see granular and hose end applications, synthetic and organic, as well as a variety of different brand names. What I recommend is you look for something that is broad spectrum, where it treats and prevents a number of different insects, and also that it's affordable. You don't need to break the bank on this product to ensure your lawn has bug control. Now I mentioned that I've tried a number of different products on my lawn and I've landed on one that's my go-to time and again. It's the triazicide by Spectricide and it's the granular option that I like the best. This one bag can treat up to 12,500 square feet. My lawn is only about 5,000 square feet so I get two applications per bag and a bag when it's at full price is around $12 but when you get it on a sale like I did for this Memorial Day weekend, it was only six bucks for this bag so that's $3 per treatment. Like I said, you don't need to break the bank for this product. Now if you're asking, Mike, why do you like the granular option over the hose end sprayer option? There's two reasons. One. I just don't like dragging a hose all around my lawn when it's a lot easier to use a granular option with a spreader and go around and spread it that way. And then two, even with some PPE, I find the hose end sprayer gets everywhere and I just don't like that. Now for applying the granular product to your lawn, you're going to need a broadcast spreader to do so. I have two. I have the Scott's Mini and the handheld battery powered Wiz. I love the Wiz for putting down fertilizer on my size lawn. For disease control and bug control, I like the Scott's Mini. Like the Wiz, it's easy to use, but when it comes to overlapping any areas or uneven application, there's less of an impact with these product types. Before you get started applying the product, ensure you read the back of the bag and understand the instructions, especially the application rate needed for your spreader type. Since this bag covers my lawn twice, I only need to weigh out about half of it to put in the spreader for today's application. Once the product is measured out, start by doing a perimeter pass with the edge guard on and then follow that up by walking in lines about five feet apart through the lawn. Once you've gone in one direction, then go in the perpendicular direction to create a grid pattern. This is gonna ensure even coverage. Once applied, you either can water it in or simply wait for mother nature to do its job with an upcoming rainstorm. If you find this information useful to control bugs in your lawn, be sure to smash that like button and drop me a comment down below. Now aside from putting down that application of bug control, there's some best practices you can do around the house all season long to ensure that your yard remains bug free. The first one is to ensure you get rid of any standing water. Dump out any buckets that may have water around your house and ensure that any kids pools are properly drained and stored away, gutters are clear, and that bird baths are cleaned out. Another tip is to ensure your trash cans are properly sealed and kept away from gathering areas. When you take out the trash, ensure the lids are properly covered and, when possible, that the containers are not near any gathering areas where people are. Another important thing to do is to ensure your lawn is properly cut and trimmed. Avoid any tall brush or weeds around the yard or up against the house. Keeping the lawn groomed ensures that there's no place for bugs to find a cozy place to live. And finally, when you have a gathering in the evening during the summer, use citronella candles or tiki torches. The smell of citronella will repel mosquitoes and bugs that find their way into your area, and the tiki torches just look cool. 
following these basic practices plus putting that application of bug control down will ensure that all season long your yard remains bug free. With the bugs under control, if you want your yard to also be green all season long, check out the video on your screen now. It's going to give you two easy plans to follow for your fertilizer schedule. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.